The Book of Philippians Philippians chapter 1 Paul and Timothy, servants of Jesus Christ, to all the saints in Christ Jesus who are at Philippi, with the overseers and deacons, grace be to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God upon every remembrance of you, always in every petition of mine for you all, making the petition with joy for your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now. Being confident of this same thing, that he who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. Even as it is right for me to think this concerning you all, for me to have you in my heart, both in my bonds and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel you all being partakers of my grace. For God is my witness, how greatly I long for you all in the bowels of Jesus Christ. And this I pray, that your love may abound yet more and more in full knowledge and in all understanding. For you to approve things that are better that you may be sincere and without offence until the day of Christ, being filled with the fruits of righteousness through Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God. But I want you to know, brothers, that the things concerning me have come rather to the advancement of the gospel, so that my bonds in Christ become clearly seen in all the palace and to all the rest and more of the brothers in the Lord, being confident by my bonds, are much more bold to speak the word without fear. Some indeed preach Christ even because of envy and strife, and some also because of goodwill. Some preach Christ out of selfish ambition, not purely thinking to add trouble to my bonds, but others out of love, knowing that I am set for the defense of the gospel. But for what? In every way, either in pretense or in truth, Christ is preached, and in this I rejoice, but also will rejoice. For I know that this shall turn out for my salvation through your petition and the supply of the Spirit of Jesus Christ, according to my earnest expectation and hope, that in nothing I shall be ashamed, but with all boldness, as always, even now Christ shall be magnified in my body, whether it is by life or by death. For me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. But if I choose to live in the flesh, this will be the fruit of work to me, and I do not know what I shall choose. For I am hard pressed by the two, having a desire to depart and to be with Christ, which is far better. But to remain in the flesh, is necessary for you. And having this confidence, I know that I shall remain and continue with you all for your advancement and joy of faith, that your boast may abound in Christ Jesus by me, through my coming to you again. Only conduct yourselves worthy of the gospel of Christ, that whether having come and seen you, or else being absent, I may hear concerning you that you stand firm in one spirit, with one soul, striving together in the faith of the gospel, and not terrified by those opposing, which is to them an indication of being lost, but to you of salvation, and that from God. That to you it is granted on behalf of Christ, not only to believe in him, but also to suffer for him having the same struggle which you saw in me and now here to be in me. Philippians chapter 2 If there is therefore any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels and compassions, fulfill my joy that you think the same, having the same love, together in soul, minding this one thing, 
do nothing through selfishness or vainglory, but in humility of mind, counting one another better than yourselves. Do not each consider only your own things, but each consider also the things of others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, did not count it a thing stolen to be equal with God, but he emptied himself and taking the form of a servant, coming in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself, becoming obedient to death, even the death of the cross. Therefore, God also has highly exalted him and given him a name above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of those in heaven and those on earth and those under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who works in you both to will and to work for his good pleasure. Do all things without murmuring and disputing, that you may be blameless and harmless children of God, faultless in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation among whom you shine as lights in the world. Holding on to the word of life, for my boast in the day of Christ, that I did not run in vain, nor labour in vain. But if I am also being poured out on the sacrifice and service of your faith, I rejoice, and rejoice with you all. And for the same reason, also you rejoice, and rejoice with me. But I hope in the Lord Jesus to send Timothy to you soon, that I also may be encouraged by knowing about you. For I do not have anyone like-minded who will genuinely care about you. For they all seek their own things, not those of Christ Jesus. But you know the proof of him, that as a father with a child he has served with me in the gospel. Therefore, I hope to send him at once, whenever I may see how things concerning me work out. But I trust in the Lord that I myself shall also come soon. And I thought it necessary to send to you Epaphroditus, my brother and co-worker and fellow soldier, and your apostle and minister of my need. Since he was longing for you all and was distressed because you heard that he was sick, for indeed he was sick, nearly to death, but God had mercy on him, and not on him only, but on me also, lest I should have sorrow upon sorrow. Therefore I sent him more diligently, that when you see him again you may rejoice, and I may be the less sorrowful. Therefore receive him in the Lord with all joy, and have such in honour because for the work of Christ he was near to death, not regarding his life, that he might fill up your lack of service towards me. Philippians chapter 3 For the rest, my brothers, rejoice in the Lord. For me to write the same things to you is not tiresome, but for you it is safe. Look out for the dogs, look out for the evil workers, look out for the false circumcision. For we are the circumcision who serve God in the spirit and boast in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in the flesh. Though I could have confidence even in the flesh, so that if any other man thinks to trust in the flesh, I am more. Circumcised the eighth day from the nation of Israel of the tribe of Benjamin a Hebrew of the Hebrews, according to the law of Pharisee, concerning zeal, persecuting the church, being blameless according to the righteousness which is by the law. But what things were gained to me, these I counted loss for Christ. Yes, indeed, 
But then I also count all things to be lost for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have lost all those, and count them to be refuse that I may gain Christ, and be found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is from the law, but the righteousness through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is from God by faith, and to know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable to his death. If somehow I might attain to the resurrection of the dead, not that I have already received or were already perfect, but I press on if I may also lay hold on that for which I was also laid hold of by Christ Jesus. Brothers, I do not count myself to have attained, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things behind and reaching out to those things which are before. I press on to the goal for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Therefore, as many as want to be perfect, this we should think, and if you think anything otherwise, God shall reveal even this to you. But to what we have attained, walk by the same rule, and to think the same thing. Brothers, be imitators together of me, and note those who walk as you have us for an example. For many walk, of whom I have told you often, and now also say weeping, that they are the enemies of the cross of Christ, whose end will be ruined, whose God is their belly, whose glory is in their shame, who mind earthly things. For our citizenship is in heaven, from where also we wait for the Saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall transform our lowly body, for it to be conformed to his glorious body, according to the working which enables him even to subdue all things to himself. Philippians chapter 4 So my brothers, beloved and longed for, my joy and crown, so stand firm in the Lord, my beloved. I entreat you, Odious, and I entreat Syntyche, to think the same thing in the Lord. And I ask you also, true yoke fellow, help those women who laboured together with me in the gospel, with Clement also and the rest of my co-workers, whose names are in the book of life. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I will say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to all men, the Lord is near. Worry about nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers, whatever things are true, whatever things are sensible, whatever things are righteous, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue, if there is any praise, think on these things. What things you have also learned and received and heard and have seen in me, these do, and the God of peace shall be with you. And I rejoiced in the Lord greatly, that now at last you have revived your thinking of me, above what you thought, but you lacked opportunity. Not that I speak in respect of lack, for I have learned in whatever state I am to be content. I know both how to be abased and I know how to abound. In everything and at all times, I have learned both to be full and to hunger, both to abound and to lack. I can do all things in Christ who empowers me. But you did well, having fellowship with me in my tribulation. And you Philippians know also that in the beginning of the gospel when I departed from Macedonia, no church shared with me in the matter of giving and receiving, but you only. For even in Thessalonica, you sent both once and twice for my need. Not that I desire a gift, but I desire fruit that abounds to your account. But I have all, and abound. 
I am full, having received from Epaphroditus the things which came from you, an aroma of a sweet smell, a sacrifice acceptable, well-pleasing to God. And my God shall supply all of your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. And to our God and Father belongs the glory for the ages of the ages. Amen. Greet every saint in Christ Jesus. The brothers with me greet you. All the saints greet you, but especially those who are of Caesar's household. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Click center to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click top right to see more videos. Go also to our website and see some great Bible studies, Hebrew and Greek word studies, and lots more. And God bless you.